so a lot of people have asked me what I make throughout the week for my own family because I'm so busy cooking for everyone else's families that I don't always have the time for my own family. I like to make really easy, simple dinners. Um, a lot of times I'm cooking with one hand. I call myself the one-handed chef because Andy is usually, she wants to cook with me. So I'm usually holding her in one hand and she wants to watch me mixing. I normally just make very, very simple meals. I think the crock pot is wonderful. You could just throw everything in there at the beginning of the day and then at night you have an amazing dinner. Throw in chicken, throw in beef, throw in any kind of vegetable, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, mushroom stock, some lentils, get your protein in there, throw some beans in there. You know, it's just so easy and you just you leave it alone and it just does its thing and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm a big fan of the crock pot. I see why my grandparents loved it <laughs> back in the day. It's still a classic. I like to just roast. Um, especially for the weekends when I'm preparing for everyone else. I like to just call it a roasting special. I just take any vegetable in the house and I just throw it in the oven, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, sometimes some other interesting spices. And I just roast it like 400 degrees, get a nice caramelization on it. And, and that's it. Andy loves it. I love it. Mike loves it. And it's just simple. It's healthy. And you could throw it in the oven and not worry about it. Um, so that's what I do for the weekends for us. I make breakfast in advance. Sometimes I'll make breakfast the night before. I'll make pancakes the night before, boil some hard boiled eggs the night before. So in the morning you could just, you know, heat up breakfast in minutes. I also like to make soaked oat groats, um, and, and soaked overnight oats. So you just literally put oats with some water and let it sit overnight. And in the morning you just heat it up a tiny bit and it's ready to go. It's just coming up with some interesting little tricks and quick, simple things that you could do in advance in order to make your life a lot easier and trust me, I need as much help as I can. So those are my tips and tricks for you.